Oh, right, so we might as well quickly move on to the next song. And we are going to go from Norway to Croatia. Uh, Croatia will be represented by Albina with the song TikTok, which is mostly in English, but also has a little verse towards the end in the native Croatian. Uh, if you've not heard what TikTok sounds like, have a listen to it now. So for me, TikTok is in my mid-twenties in my part. Um, I don't think it's a complete non-qualifier. I've seen some people say this is not going to qualify. It's just a, it's a bit of a generic female up-tempo song. And there's quite a few of the like up-tempo female songs in semi one. However, I do think that this will actually probably make it. Unless Croatia sends something absolutely horrible or the semi-final is beyond strong, Croatia tend to. But they made it with my friend in 2017, so I don't see why this wouldn't, but that's just me. Um, this is a very, very different avenue for Croatia. We haven't really seen, at least for as long as I can remember, send a, a female up-tempo current song. Um, so... I think last time they maybe did that was like 2006. So it's a new avenue, so it's really hard to predict how this will do for them. But I I don't know. I think the fact that there's a little bit in Croatian kind of makes this stand out a little bit more from the other female up-tempo songs. Plus, they do have Slovenia in the semi. So and I do think that Slovenia and Croatia, this is definitely the stronger song. So... It has that in its favour. And, yeah, I could definitely see this in the final, for sure. TikTok is a strong a song that I've sort of struggled with for a lot of this season. And the reason I've struggled with it is that I actually really like it. And I can't put my finger on why I like it, because it is generally a genre that I am not as inclined to go for. Um I really enjoyed it when she performed it at Dora. Um, it wasn't my favourite to win Dora, but I thought Dora was a very, very strong national selection this year. And I think it's a very worthy winner. And I've kept listening to it since. And I still really, really enjoy it. It's another one that I'm not 100% sure if it will qualify. This is another one where I am really sort of preparing to get my heart broken on it because... It's in my in my overall ranking at the moment, it's sort of around the mid-teens, but given that I would quite like about 25 songs in my top 10 this year, that's pretty damn good. And I think Albina is a fantastic live performer, but I am not convinced that the song will stand out enough to qualify, particularly given some of the other songs we have coming up later in the semi-final. I think it is just kind of too strong, I think. I think in other years, I think this would have qualified very easily and probably in semi two would have qualified quite easily. But I think this might just be a, an opportunity when the luck of the draw has really not played in Croatia's favour and that is a huge shame because I'd love to see this in the final I think it's a really fun upbeat and I think the sort of backing of it is quite interesting I think that sort of ticking drum beat that sort of monotonous drum beat I think is quite interesting listening to it and yeah I'd like to see this in the final I just don't necessarily feel convinced that we will and it's a huge shame. Croatia for me is a really strange one because it's in a similar vein to Norway in the sense that I've seen a lot of people really love it and I've seen a lot of people really hate it so the fact that it's kind of so divisive already puts it at a very interesting position especially after Norway as well. Um, I feel like this would be a lot more accessible to people than Norway, though, would be. Um, it's a lot more upbeat. It's 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 definitely something that we've not seen from Croatia in a really, really long time. And that's something that I'm really, really excited about because um, it's just something that 
we don't really expect from Croatia because Croatia usually is the one that to send us either a Balkan ballad or uh, a female ballad or something like that, like some like something either completely left field or something really generic and predictable. And given how strong Dora was, it actually was quite pleasant to see that actually this was the winner. Um, it wasn't my favorite. I'm not going to lie, but. Since I have kind of grown to enjoy it when it comes on, although I I am in the same mindset saying that once it's finished, I don't necessarily remember it or I don't like choose to listen to it again. Um, I am hoping that it does well because Croatia and Eurovision, they do tend to have a bit of a love hate relationship. Um, as well, we saw when Croatia withdrew for two years as a result of poor results, but we'll save that for a Croatia episode. Um, I just would like to see their hard work actually paying off and getting results. If it does make it through to the final, I do think it could potentially get a mid-table result, which for Croatia is an absolute win. Um, but I'm pretty sure that they're going to throw a fantastic idea out there. And Albina is a fantastic performer. She gave a kind of a jazz slash swing version, like performance of TikTok. And it sounded really, really, really interesting. And, you know, she you can tell that she's an experienced performer. So I'm, I'm excited to see what she's going to do.